What's going on, shady people? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening episode on the channel. Today it is part two, and we are gonna go ahead and stick a key right in this hole to open up our first dungeon. Mythical, the lock disappears. Stairs lower as bars drop as well. Nice. Ooh, I like that sound. That's a that's a comforting kind of sound. Let's step inside our very first dungeon in Link's Awakening. Oh, the Nintendo Switch. Level one, Tail Cave. Oh, this music. Oh, the classic. Kill all the enemies and get yourself a key. It's so good. It's so good, huzzah! You got a small key, it can open a locked door. Very nice, very nice. Lots of saving. I just saw that we saved right there as well. I thought that was interesting. Um, those torches lit up as we killed those enemies. That was cool. You got the compass. Now you can see where the chests and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. So that was a feature I believe they added in Link's Awakening DX that was not originally in the original Link's Awakening for Game Boy. Um, very useful feature. I'm sure... That's the tune that we're talking about. That's the tune. So there's a key nearby, uh, and much like the previous room, we must kill all enemies, and I'm sure... Nope, we didn't need to do that. We just needed to step on the switch, but killing all the enemies certainly made it easier. By the way, the chests are so shiny in this game. They are really, real shiny. For some reason, I like heading to the left first now instead of the right. I don't know when this changed. But for some reason, I like it. Uh, these bats are... Oh, look. Okay, so I will say that this game feels like it is on par with, like... Sound design-wise, it's it's ridiculously good. Like, borderline perfect sound design, in my opinion. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no. So we can, we can unlock this here. I guess we shall. We have two keys, right? Right underneath our hearts. We see those little keys. So I don't see why we don't do it. Ooh. Uh, there was a locked door at the end of this room. I wonder if killing the red blobs will do the trick, though I'm not positive. Can't remember exactly if that will do what we needed to do. Oh, we got the guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. So this glows. This makes us glow blue. Uh, much like the, the the piece of power, aka the triforce of power. I'm convinced. Gosh darn it. Um, oh, that's right. These guys are straight from Mario Brothers. Look at them. Uh, we didn't hear a ding to ding so there's no key here. So the acorn reduces your the damage you take, whereas the piece of power makes you stronger. So it was a really cool feature. Oh, yes! We're playing Mario now, boys. Can't actually jump yet. We can land on their heads, though, which is great. Watch, speaking of, we don't need that heart, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just head up this ladder here. Uh, it was so cool back in the day when they had that little side-scrolling element. Oh, would you look at that? Something that we can't reach without a jumpy jump. I wish there was some way we could, oh, jump. You got the rock's feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. So that was a really, really awesome, ah, oh, what a waste. A really, really awesome addition uh, to this game or to this franchise, if you think about it. So obviously in, in Zelda 2, you could jump when you, we were doing side scrolling things, uh, but in the first Zelda, you couldn't jump. So having the ability to jump in a true top, top, over top head, top head overworld uh, Zelda game felt really, really cool. It felt really, really cool. We don't actually have the beak yet, so I can't do anything with these owl statues. Essentially, if you had the beak, you could get a little hints. Uh, not really sure how we missed the beak, but we did. And somehow that spike got me. Oh, as soon as we entered this quadrant, it went boop, 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 which means there's a key in this chest. You got a small key that can open locked doors. I can't wait to play this. I can't wait to have my nephew play this and my daughter. Well, obviously my daughter's not gonna be able to play for a little while. But once she can, this might be her first Zelda game. It's like a really, really good introduction to the Zelda series in my opinion. Uh, let's check down here before we open that door. Oh, we can't even go through here. Never mind. Let's open this door immediately then. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the dungeon is, is a lot less linear. Then a link to the past was. Was there jumping in a link to the past? I don't think there was. I can't remember right now. Could you jump? I don't know. Look at this guy. He's adorable. We gotta jump over his little 
giant spiky thing. Get two hits on him. Nice. Can I jump and charge my sword? I can. Awesome. So that's three hits then, technically. Because I'm pretty sure our spin attack counts as... Oh, we missed. Nice, bro. We're out here bossing. Do we still get a little fairy? We do get a little fairy. In the original Link to the Past, they look like... um, What's the word? Can you... Thank you. The word is... Oh! Little... Little... Little stuffed animals. I can't think of what they're called. Beanie babies. It looks like a little beanie baby. So that blue portal that opened up actually is a way to get right back to the... Oh. They're dead. Wow, that's really dark. It's a way to get back to the beginning of the dungeon, which I think we're going to take that... We still haven't found the map? Ouch. Which is pretty surprising to me. But let's go ahead and step in to see what it looks like. Ooh. Very nice. That blue is awesome. So there was nothing else to the left. Oh, maybe we default have the map? I guess we do. Being able to see the treasure chest on the map is pretty darn sweet, I have to say. Let's head to the right. Because there's supposed to be a treasure chest in here. These skellies jump so good. They jump so good. Bam! Nice little magic treasure chest appearing before our eyes. Grab that rupee. We're almost that shovel level. Oh, no, we didn't have the map. You At last, you got the map. Press minus to look at it. So what's different now? Oh, now it's filled in. Mm, I would say, I would argue that the map is almost unnecessary. Doesn't feel that good getting the map compared to what, what we were seeing was pretty close to what we needed to see. IMO, I could be wrong. You guys can let me know if you feel differently. I feel as though we don't need the map to progress in this dungeon. And this is the first dungeon, so that's fine. But still, okay, we have another, uh, let's get you on your, oh, that doesn't do anything. Never mind. Wow, we're gonna die? Let's open up this little block with our last key. We have no more keys, but, boop, 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 means that there is a key and it's gonna be the boss key already. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Well, I'm not gonna leave just yet because I really want to uh, have my save file complete, which means I gotta open up all the chests that are available in this dungeon. So let's backtrack real quick and see what we may have missed over here. Uh, there's a treasure chest somewhere over here uh, that we are missing. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we can't get it yet. You guys see this wall? We need bombs. We gotta, we gotta come back here to get that treasure chest. Wow. That's crazy. I'm gonna kill all the enemies in these two rooms. I don't see how else I'm supposed to. Are you guys wanna see something cool? Oh, I thought the magic powder was making that chest appear, but it wasn't. I'm pretty sure you can put magic powder on those guys and they're supposed to transform, but I could be misremembering. We got 20 rupees, joy. Uh, so we're only missing two chests now. One that we can't get to without bombs, so we'll have to remember to come back here. That's gonna be a, a nuisance. My brain space to remember that. I'm not the best rememberer. Not gonna lie to you guys. What did I just say? Anyway, let's go up. Uh, Cause we did go in that room over there. Ooh, oh, these are so much fun. Um, we have to make them all match. And we get a time limit, it sounds like. Made the match. We got rupees for it, huzzah. So we could have had hearts. Oh, we don't get a time limit. That was my heart beating. Uh, I could have definitely could have definitely died there. I could still definitely die. Here we go. You found a stone beak. Now to find an owl statue to fit it into. So this is where we were supposed to come earlier. Turn aside the spinned ones with the shield. Okay, thank you. Thank you for telling me things I knew. All right, what I need is for hearts. I'm really positive that I can... Ah! I really don't feel like dying. I do not feel like dying in this quest. Okay. Let's go back. No, I don't think there was any hearts here. Were there any pots or anything for me to break? I legitimately do not want to die. So we're gonna step out of here. We're taking a little break. Oh, kill some easy enemies. Cause I need their hearts. Could you guys just drop your hearts for me, please? Oh, sh I almost do the opposite. Okay, here we go. Oh, hero mode is gonna be tough for me. Nice, they dropped their hearts almost immediately. Actually, they did drop them immediately, if you think about it. Okay, that should be enough. Two and a half should be enough to take on this first boss. Jumping actually feels a little slow. 
And there's a very good reason why slowness, why you feel slow in this game. Because uh, they want to make you feel fast later on. I don't know if I'd call that a very good reason, but it's one way to design. It is one way to design. Maybe I should have edited the first episode before I recorded this. Now that I'm thinking about it, to make sure there was no issues, but... Oh, well, now I'm here and I'm recording again. I just really want to play the game. I don't feel like editing right now. I just want to play. Okay. Look at this tile. Outsiders. Moldor. I don't remember. Oh, you got a tail. Oh, it's this classic, guys. It's a classic. Oh, his tail closed up for a little while. Jumping definitely helps. This music is so ridiculously good. So insanely perfect is this music. Oh boy, I got hops, bro. Is it three and done? Nope, it's not three, it's gonna be five. Oh, but your tail isn't close up anymore. Oh, it's four. You don't see that every day. That purple flame was pretty cute. Not gonna lie. We got ourselves a heart container. You got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts increased and your health has been refilled too. Boom, but now for the moment we've been waiting for. <gasps> what are you? You a violin? Are you a bass? You're a bass. You got the full moon cello. The full moon cello. Here we go. So good. Oh, uh, I can't. I was thinking about it between episodes and I can't tell if it's the nostalgia trip that's making me love this game so much or if it's Swamp or if it's Swamp or if it's a genuinely a good game. I would really love a path opens in the blooms. I would really love to know your guys thoughts on the game so far if you've especially if you've never played Link's Awakening. Because it'll be a little bit more of a unbiased opinion, I think. For me, I feel like I'm definitely biased. So I really love Link's Awakening. Actually, one of my favorite Zelda games. That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the wind fish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Gopanga Swamp. Indeed. Who's indeed? It's interesting how he said at first, I didn't think you were real. Don't you find that interesting? What happens when I... Oh, you just turned into fire. That's fun. So now we can take a nice shortcut. Uh, I personally, when it comes to games, I love when a new item makes travel easier. Oh, why are you guys freaking out? What is wrong? Yeah, hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, real serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house, and then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a real bad scene with the moblins. So I mean, yeah. Might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Okay, so May Village. Let's go and find out. <gasps> what a scream! It's terrible. My Bow Wow was dog by my moblins. Oh, somebody, please help my poor Bow Wow. Where did they go? Uh, well, actually, I know that we can't go west yet. It would have been great if there was some sort of trail, though, but I'm pretty sure we gotta go north. By the way, hold on, side, side note, we never did this. I never, I never fell in a well, and that makes me feel bad. Because we get a free heart piece here. Boom, you got a piece of heart. Press plus to open up the subscreen and see. We have half a heart as of now. Half a heart as of now. I actually don't remember in this game if there's sword upgrades. I feel like there has to be. That's like such a Zelda thing. Like, way from the original. Just can't remember. I feel like there are. I feel like that might be what the mysterious shells are for. Secret seashells, but I could be wrong. Okay, so we should be able to get through this forest much quicker now. Ow. Because we have the jumpers. I don't know if this is the right way, though, to Bow Wow. I'm glad that I don't know the right way immediately though, if I'm honest. So I know that this is this is where I want to take Bow Wow, my little my little friend, once I get him. What is this hut gonna be used for now? Let's see. Well, I pretty much stick to myself. 
and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Oh, poor guy. I feel bad for him. I'm still powerful, so let me stay powerful. You guys want to drop any rupees? Because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close to the shovel. Oh, I have the shovel. Abilities. Oh, man, I wish I had the shovel right now. Uh, we, might have, we might be backtracking anyway, because I don't know. Tal Tal Mountain Range. Music, the fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Thank you. Hmm. Don't Because I know we can't head to the right until we have something specific. We can jump over this gap. That's nice. We got ourselves 20 more rupees. Well, I, that feels a little bad. I was hoping for something better. I was hoping for something a little bit better. Okay, so let's head this way then. You're going in the hole. Oh, I almost went in the hole. What are there? Oh, I know which way I can go. Hold on, let's see if there's a way to, no, we can't go up here yet. We cannot go up here yet. I just remembered, it crossed my mind. Wow, that felt really weird. It was almost like I was having a dream. Can I jump? Oh, I can jump and slice. I might as well take this toadstool while I can. Since we're here. Let's just take it to have it for when we run out of powder. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know if this is actually shorter. It might not be, because we gotta push all these rocks. Eh. I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's not shorter. Oh wait, and I just messed it up. That's incredible. The odds of messing that up are so slim, and your boy did it. Your boy did it. Now I have to do this just on principle. Like, even if it is slower. There might even be a faster way to do that, question mark? I'm not really sure. Don't drop any rupees, I don't feel like backtracking. Ah! You would have thought, you silly little bat. You keys. Okay, let's, I like how we could still hear the stone fall as this loading screen was going, that's kind of cool. We gotta get the hashtag out of here. The way, oh wait, no, this is the way we go. My brain just had another dream. That was really strange. We gotta go this way. I could get healed, but I don't want to waste her time. Actually, this is the wrong way. Gosh dang it, dude. Now I'm getting, okay, this is, but this is good. For me, this is good. The fact that I'm not remembering everything perfectly, actually, I don't know if it's good for you guys. It's good for me. I don't want to have perfect recollection of the game. Uh, Cause then it's like, what am I doing? If I'm not actually trying to figure things out. I guess people play video games with strategy guides. It's kind of like having a m strategy guide in your brain space. But this is what I was thinking. Yeah, I wanted to fall down there really bad. That's what I was thinking the entire time. We got ourselves another piece of heart. Huzzah even. Oh boy. Okay. So we can't go over here yet. Although that pond is gonna be very important later on. But we can go up here. Which I believe is where we have to go. Tall, tall heights. Ah, yes. Here it is. This is where the moblins are. You notice that moblin head that's right there? Uh, who's this suspicious looking rat? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Wait, why did my shield not go up? That was really weird. Don't you do? Music is fantastic. Oh, we got a bunch of little bet boys. You guys don't stand a chance. Ow! Okay, you stand slight chance, but not a real chance. Whoa, this is a big boy. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Can I hit you? I can't hit you. Okay. That doesn't do anything. I think mean, you gotta run into a wall, right? Wait, why didn't, what? Why didn't you uh, crash? Okay, I guess I just gotta, oh gosh. I can't take that much damage. I, I wish I could stop those notifications. Maybe I gotta jump over you? Makes sense. Oh, he stopped so soon. We're gonna die here. I'm pretty upset by it. Come on. No! Okay, here we go. Come on, please go down. No! Call me Mr. Dodge. Oh, you actually hit the wall! I was like ready to shield. You actually went the whole way that time. 
Nice. And we get a fairy to restore our health. Huh? When is our first death going to come? I hope never. That's the answer that I'm looking for. You saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. Come on, Bow Wow. Let's go. You are my fearsome beast. You were trying to bite me when we first met, and now it is I who is saving you. Does that hold no irony for you? Does that hold no irony for you? I feel like it should. Hello, my owl music friend. That is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gobongo Swamp. AKA, hmm, that's a fearsome looking animal. You should totally go ahead and use it to get into the swamp. But look at Dompe over here. Hey, you made it out here. That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm Dompe, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. Hashtag bars, easy bars. Oh, I fell down a hole, Bow Wow, why didn't you save me? The ball wasteland. I don't know this where I'm supposed to be, but uh, we're gonna go this way anyway. Trying to fill out our map. Ooh, oh, so this is where the, oh, this stinks. We can't, we gotta go back around. But that's where the witch was. Oh, maybe we can go down here though. Ooh, we got the cemetery. Oh, that's scary. Bow Wow, are you gonna eat these guys? All right, I'm going a really long way around. There's a little mole man. He doesn't want to eat any of those guys. Okay. Wow. Molman. Got him. Sorry, Morty. If that even is your real name. We're just doing a little... Okay, we can't explore down here because there's a rock block in our path. And we still can't lift rocks. But that is not Morty. That is a zombie. That is 100% a zombie and not a Molman. Without a doubt. Bow Wow, can you eat this guy? You can! He just straight munched him. Okay, so we should... Uh, Actually, we probably have to go this way. Now I'm thinking about it. We're gonna have to go the way we are. Oh! I can't tell if that's the bones cracking or if that's just a munch. Either way, pretty intense. So we got a hole over here we can jump over. Whoop! This would have been the very quick way to go before. Instead of going down and going all around. Wolf dig rough! Wait, you can smell where I need to dig? Okay, that's good to know. So those four leaves, once we get a shovel, which we could have gotten already, uh, we'll have to get it in the next episode for sure. Uh, so the reason why we need Bow Wow here is because Bow Wow is actually gonna make it so that we can eat through these plants or that he can eat through these plants. Otherwise we can't get through here. And he's a really good source of protection, by the way. Bow Wow, no, eat this, okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Gotta dodge this stench. Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. I don't remember there being a treasure chest in the original game. Not right there, anyway. We got the piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Okay, here we go. We got, oh, a purple rupee, 50 rupees. Very nice, very nice. So we are gonna grab the shovel uh, after this temple. Ooh, and look, now we can get inside. So there's no key for this one. It's just, you need a Bow Wow. You need a Bow Wow. And I'm pretty sure now, I can't lift this. Oof, this looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. I'm pretty sure now if we go outside, Bow Wow might be there, but might not. Let's light this joint up. Jump over you and head to the right. Just like that, we're in the second dungeon. You guys can see the original games. <clears throat> the dungeons are very close to each other. Very, very, very close to each other. So we have a key here. Snag that. Let's jump over these switches. Oh, uh, there's a lot of things we're supposed to get soon. Whoa, whoa, this guy's got armor. Yeah, you would have thought. Hey, <laughs> what is this, a compass? No, it's another small key. You got a small key, can open up a locked door. Wow, maybe that was a bomb bag. Where do I get, look. Oh, this is just magic powder. So there's a switch over here, let's step on it. Is this another key? If we load up on three keys right now in the second dungeon, right in the be- HUSH! Right in the beginning, it'd be ridiculous. Wow, we literally are loading up on three keys. Insane. Oh, this music, yes! Please and thank you. 
Oh, Shy Guys. I love Shy Guys. I love how many Mario enemies there are in this game. So that is yet another key for us to go snag, and I think we should go snag that now before we forget about it. For sure. Let's do this. Walk right over here. There's a key on the ground. So we did skip the initial room where there was a key. I love how no these these rooms are these dungeons are almost less linear than other Zelda dungeons. They definitely feel less linear. Once again, it could be like it could just be being silly, but I, it feels less linear. Get ourselves a new treasure chest on these little tiles over here. Can we lift up jars yet? You want to give me that ability? No, we got the compass. Now you can see where the chests and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. There's a little tone that you didn't know about. Okay, wow. This uh, temple looks a lot bigger than not. So we can go backtrack since we have all these keys. There's another locked door for us to ascertain. That's this one right here. The textures just look like they loaded in late. That was weird. Oh, I didn't see those spikes. That's for sure. That's dead. I'm going to let you guys come together, and then I'm going to run right where you were. Beautiful. Ow. Ow. There you go. You're done. Open this, and this will be... Ah, you found a stoned beak. Stone beak. Not stone beak. Stone beak. Very nice. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, that was a that was a delay. That's not good. That's actually bad. But if we can get the ability to lift jars, we'll be able to get many, many parts in the beginning of this temple. There was uh, a ton of jars. So we should be able to take advantage of that. Okay, here we go. That guy's ready to stab. Oh boy. Let's grab this powder, because why not be maxed out? I wonder if it's best for me to hit this switch right now. I, I would think so. I don't know why, just leaving it up doesn't seem like the right play to me. Could def- wait, what? You didn't get hit? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? I still gotta collect rupees, because like I said, there's a very, very expensive item in the future that we're gonna need to buy. So the more rupees we can get, the better. Especially because I don't want to be known as no thief. And I'm sure you've noticed the common trend. When you enter a room, you want to kill every enemy, for sure. Whew. Okay, here we go. Um, I kind of remember this. Oh boy, I am going to not live soon. I'm going to be not alive very shortly. Once we start finding some hearts. Wow, hero mode is gonna be full of death for me. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get good, essentially. I love the way Link looks 2D. Uh, I'm sorry, side scrolling. I love it. Okay. <gasps> A dream come true. Okay, I wanna light this room up before we step away. Just in case I miss anything. I like the noise Link makes when he lights, up, lights, lights the place up. Okay, do we get anything for killing him? No? Okay, then let's just go through the hole. Oh, mini boss! Uh, what am I gonna do to you? Okay, you take damage. Never mind. okay. Ew. Whoa, there's cracks on the floor. Okay, very simple. Charge your sword and go for broke. Charge your sword and go for broke. For sure. Ow. That's not very nice of you. Okay, we still can't lift jars, so we can't really get over there. Wow, those three hearts were, like, beautifully, beautifully placed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to open this chest anyway. And we have acquired. At last, you got a map. I like you get the compass first. That's cool. I don't I don't really remember that. We got ten more powder. We still have another, we still have another chest. And another key. And more rupees! Wow, we might not have to farm for rupees that much for our big, big item. We're fine. They, they added a lot of rupees, it seems. Okay, I can't hit them. These are just like Mario Brother Ghost. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be the death of me. 
You need a little light and then they're vulnerable. Sweet. Please, give me infinite hearts. I'm begging you. Ooh, we have the power bracelet. At last you can pick up pots and stones. That's gonna change the game greatly. This is also another item that normally in Link's Awakening, you'd have to equip. You'd have to actually have it as one of your two selected items. I'm pretty positive you did. You definitely did. And that's huge, man. That's like insane that that was actually a thing. Oh, that's powder. I didn't want powder. I wanted jumpies. Here we go. We got ourselves another small key. I might be able to make this episode a little longer and just finish this dungeon. So I'm kind of feeling it right now. Not gonna lie. I don't know if I was supposed to hit that, but I did, and there's no going back now. Let's look at the map. See if there's any chests I'm missing. So we're missing the very first one. Oh, that we totally could have gotten in the beginning. That's a shame. It's okay. We can always walk back into the temple and get it. I think you have to kill these in a specific order. Nope. I lied. You definitely do have to kill these in a specific order. That's how you kill it. You heard that? It's because we didn't kill them in the right order. Okay, so let's try... Let's try Darkman, Bunny, Bat. So Darkman, Bunny, Bat. That's wrong. Okay, so we did, we did Darkman first both times. So let's try Bunny, Darkman, Bat. Which makes sense because that makes it harder. So let's try Bunny. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die here trying this. Dark uh, bunny. I can't speak anymore. Bunny, Darkman, Bat. That's wrong as well. Well, you know what? I don't want your reward. All right, how about that? No, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna have to, we're, we're gonna have to pause here. I don't know how much longer is left in this dungeon. I'm not, I don't know. So we're gonna pause trying to figure out this puzzle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed If you did, don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. We'll be having this series daily till we finish Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, Keep it shady.